Okay, so you know the excuse this week is exercise can be boring. This exercise is definitely not gonna be boring. I don't know how much fun it's gonna be at times, but it's definitely not going to be boring. We do a lot of spinning. Now, we're gonna take what we've learned in the gym and put it to real life. When I hear people say that exercise is boring, I would say you haven't found something that you like to do. Let's do it. Find something that you like. Swimming, hiking, running, group fitness classes. There's so many things that you can do. You just gotta find it. This is so much fun, I love it! Woo! When you do a spin bike, it's locked in, so you don't have to worry about using your core strength to really maneuver. This, you're out dealing with the terrain. Watch these potholes. Woo! It's a real big difference than just sitting on a stationary bike and reading a magazine. As you go uphill, you can either stand up, like we do on the spin bike, or you go to a lighter gear. On a spin bike, you control your resistance. This is definitely a workout. If it just gets to be too much, you can always back it off a little bit. I might need some water. You can't back off a hill here. Really keep your core engaged when you go up on these hills. Had this situation come up, free Biggest Loser, I would not have done it. I would have said, I can't do this, and I would have turned around and walked down the hill. Definitely a workout, huh, Conda? This is quite the workout, Bob. Conda was cracking me up on this bike ride today. All right, we got a hill, people. Conda. She was always in the back. She was just pedaling and going and just bitching the whole way. It kills your thoughts. Conda, do you have any idea what gear you're in? No. Conda, pipe down and just keep pedaling. You still got a lot of weight to lose, girl. <laughs> just think, your mom's going to watch this episode. She's going to be like, this is why I fell on the sword for my daughter. This is what I knew my daughter always had in her. I think this bike ride for Megan today is gonna be a really good lesson because it's gonna show her what she's capable of. 15 seconds, I want you to go as fast as you can. Let's go. It's not gonna be some easy little stroll. This is gonna be on a mountain bike going uphill. Heavy gear, <sighs> fast, come on. Just like on the spin bike, pop up. I see a really strong girl. We've gotta awaken that fighter in her. I know it's there. There. Harder gear, Megan, harder gear. I just need Megan to start believing it. Go, Megan, go. Pick it up. <sighs> Being so far ahead of everybody else, it was kind of a metaphor of, I don't need somebody to hold my hand on this journey anymore. I don't need somebody to be right by my side, telling me what to do, telling me how to live. We're getting to the top. And I'm thinking to myself, I have to push myself that much harder. It's me and only me telling myself, you can make it up this hill. Hardest thing I've done yet by far. Yep. Don't stop, whatever you do. Little bitty girl like you, Chris, you got to work hard. You got to be thankful for this hill right now. Push, Chris. Chris was struggling. Good. Come on, Conda. Conda was just doing the best that she could. <sighs> Megan. Never stop. Good. I proved to Bob I'm capable of doing what I didn't think I could. Look how far you went. Wow. Climbed all the way up to the top of this. I just got to keep it up for the rest of this week. Three months ago, you wouldn't have been able to do this whatsoever. Like how far you've come, you really need to be aware of that because it's a big deal. You should be really proud. And let me tell you, there was nothing boring about that. No. No. Best part about this is now you get to ride downhill. Okay. 13 weeks ago, I would have never survived this today. This makes it all worthwhile. I think the first 100 yards, I would have been, that's it, I'm done. So it's a huge accomplishment to see how far I've come.